Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fire pop-ups on Click in Elementor. You don't need any extra plugin. So, for example, here I'm going to show you how to trigger a dynamically linked pop-up in Elementor. For example, when I click here, this pop-up shows up. And if I click here, this pop-up shows up. So this one, it's a CSS ID pop-up. This one is a dynamically linked pop-up. So let's dive straight in. First things first, what you need to do is to have a page where you want your pop-ups to show up. So in this case, I have my home page. The next thing you need are pop-ups. You need to create pop-ups. So to create pop-ups, you just come in Elementor, templates, pop-ups. Once you click pop-ups, then you just come here, then add new pop-up, create that pop-up, and then you can name that pop-up, whatsoever name. So I've already created my pop-ups, and here they are. So for example, the digital product pop-up, which is this, and like uh, you can do all tricks that you want. You can change you know, the contents here to anything else you want. Digital product. Yeah, you can change the background image or even you can change the background color so you only have what you wish to see so all that stuff so you need that all you need to do in this is to save our pop-up we don't need to do any tweak we don't need to do anything because we are going to make this to be dynamically displayed by Elementor for example just like you see there is no changes that I made on the pop-up settings nothing totally everything is by default and once you save your pop-up you don't need even to add any conditions no triggers no nothing so you just save and close once you save and close we just come over here to our page once we get to our home page we get to the button or element where we want our pop-up to show up once it is clicked on you can rename this to anything like maybe digital product And now we want to fire our pop-up when someone clicks on this button. So what we need to do on the link settings, come to dynamic, choose actions. By scrolling down, you'll find actions. Under action, select the pop-up action. And then here we will say we want to open a pop-up. And that pop-up is called digital product. So we select the pop-up called digital product and we are good to go. What we need to do now is to save and update. So now what will be displayed is this pop-up called digital product. So we are now going to go to our home page and reload the page. Once page is reloaded, just scroll, come to your element, uh, digital product, click it, and boom, it fires the pop-up. Nothing fancy, nothing hard, just setting the dynamic link and you are done. Congratulations on that. Now, let me show you how to fire pop-ups using the CSS ID. What we need now to do is head to your pop-ups environment and then create that pop-up. Like I showed you, to create a pop-up, come to pop-ups, add new pop-up, create that pop-up, give it a name. However, I already created my own pop-up and uh, what I just need to do is now to show you, I just open this in Elementor, boom. So we can make any tricks on this pop-up we can change things we can change colors let me say uh, i want to change this color to uh, maybe a red copy this once i'm done making my changes it can even be in the font and maybe i want to uh, switch things up maybe i want to say uh, learning about pop-ups then I can style it the way I want I can uh, give it line height something like that and once you're done with styling up your pop-up so you basically now have to come to settings go to advanced you have now to create a pop-up 
selector. Let's name it about pop-ups. It should be having a hash. That is if you're going to use the CSS. So uh, we're going to say hash about pop-ups. We have to make sure that our CSS selector has a unique name and not similar to anywhere else. So what we need to do now is to copy that and then we're going to say update. Once we update, come to display conditions. Let me assume our pop-up is going to be displayed on the home page. So we are going to add a condition, add condition. Uh, then we can say singular, head straight to the front page where we want our pop-up to be displayed. Next, after adding that condition, we don't have to click anything here unless you want to. Next, and next, we save. And now we have to head straight to our home page, come straight to your element where you want to display your CSS ID. We can rename it, we can give it a name and we say about pop-ups. And then we just head straight to advanced and under CSS ID, that's where we are going to add our CSS ID. So in this case, I just have to remove the hash. Once that is done, the update, you are done updating, you just simply have to come here, reload our home page. Once our home page is done, we just navigate straight to the our element, which is called about pop-ups. And when we click here, it boom fires our pop-up. Congratulations, and I hope these two ways on how you can create pop-ups on click in Elementor brought you value. And hey, if you're new to this channel, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.